We are now in day 17 of the student protest at Howard University. And I don't see an end anywhere in sight, not even after the extremely polite letter University President Wayne Frederick dropped early this week. If you remember, when the students took over the Blackburn University Center, I stood here and said that while I didn't want to take sides, I fully support the students' right to protest. And I still do. But I've been paying attention these last few weeks keeping up with students through the hashtag Blackburn Takeover hashtag on social media, reading and listening to what some professors there are saying about the protests, monitoring the administration's response, listening to alumni, and in doing this, let it be known, your boy Reese is team student. Listen, how is this still going on? Why they're now tense on campus? What they're asking for doesn't seem like that heavy of a lift. They don't want to live with mold. They don't want to live with vermin. They want to live in a safe environment. They want to be heard and have a say in the place they call home because that's what this is to them, their home. A home that, by the way, they pay a large amount of money to live in. A place where they're told their family. That's one of the reasons they chose Howard. And they're the unreasonable ones. This seems to be what President Frederick believes. In his letter, he notes that protest has been a perennial part of our institutional culture. How past protests maintained a fidelity to recognizing objective truths and verify ob objective facts and verifiable truths. OK, well, are there or is there not mold and vermin? That seems easily verifiable. He continues. Inquiries to date affirm that the issues are not widespread and the vast majority of our students are living comfortably in their rooms. This then begs the question, how many have to be affected before action is taken? He says that actions have been taken. I say, well, let's verify this and then maybe this can end. The protest has grown beyond Howard. It's moved off campus into the culture and the students have support. And why wouldn't they? For a place that calls itself the Mecca, the crown jewel of HBCUs, this ain't a good look. I have a special place of compassion for any kid that believes in the dream of an HBCU then has to fight the HBCU to see that dream realized. I'll see you tomorrow.